What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a few ways that you can improve the ability to land your kicks in a sparring session. Just a little disclaimer here. Life's been a little bit difficult lately for me and I don't have enough time, the last couple of days, the energy to edit the videos. Um, so this is gonna be one take. It's gonna save me a little bit of uh, a little bit of trouble and a little bit more time for me to do other things which are important right now. So I apologize for that. I will get back to editing videos properly fairly soon. But let's focus in on the kicks. You want to land them when you're sparring. You're finding that it's a bit of a struggle. It's not uncommon, and don't beat yourself up over it. Try and utilize these little tips today and make sure that you practice them beforehand. Because if you just go to the gym and you just start sparring and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do what Gabriel said, you really won't be able to. It takes practice beforehand to really get that muscle memory happening. So the very first thing is to string some hands before you kick. And I know a lot of people practice that, but there's a little element in there which a lot of people miss. You go, okay, I'm practicing, and then they throw, and you see that little pause that I put there? That's too long. That's a reset for the person on defense to go, oh, I'm overwhelmed, oh, pause, okay, there's the kick. It's about having that continual beat where it's one, two, three, four, not one, two, three, pause, four. So you really gotta get that down. You have to have things flowing and really finish with that consistent pace. One, two, three, and you hit them. One, one, two, and you hit them. That kind of thing is gonna really help. So count that beat out in your head and just make sure it's not one, two, three, pause, four, it's one, two, three, four. The next one that I want you guys to try is to make sure that you're going offensive and defense and defensive on your kicks. Very often we see people and they're really good at kicking when they're leading, but when you can use your kicks to stop somebody, to back up and stop somebody, and then they start getting a little gun shy on entering and then you go on the attack with your kicks, it makes it that much harder for them to anticipate when the kicks are coming because they're worried about moving forwards, they're, moving, they're worried about staying stationary, sometimes even backing up, but they're worried because you can chase them and blast that kick off. Play around with both those modes and if I could tell people to get good at one thing, I would say just get used to shifting backwards or leaning backwards off the lead leg round kick. That one's really good to get down because as soon as somebody comes forward, you get your head out of that danger zone and you can smash that, smash that shin right up the middle on the body. The next thing that I really like to do is make sure I set up something numerous times and look for the opening on the kick. So if I start off and I go, okay, really what's a safe combo for me? Okay, I'm just gonna go double jab and I exit. And I go, okay, I got away with that one. I do it again, double jab. And now I'm starting to note what's happening. Are they heavy on their legs? When they block the double jab, are they over committing with the reach? Which means I can pop up there. Are they keeping their elbows flared out when they block? So I know, okay, the front kick's there. And you can throw something a couple times in a row. The third time you throw it, you know what the follow-up kick is gonna be. And it's just about collecting that data so that you can actually make something happen and you're not just throwing kicks, just kind of like, oh, I'll just throw this because, and it's just really a guess whether it'll land or not. You know it's gonna land because you took in information beforehand. So those are three tips that you guys can utilize to help get those legs going. Thank you for bearing with me today in this one shot, no editing video. I, oh, I'm off for seminars actually this weekend, doing some teaching, but I will be back here very soon. I'll bring you videos while I'm there probably from my hotel room. But I look forward to seeing you guys as soon as I'm back here and I can get back to proper videos for you. Train hard, guys.